To begin the quest, go ahead and speak to Wizard Myrtle in front of the Wizard's Tower. Choose the chat options on screen. Next, you'll have to speak to Venaka under the Edgeville Dungeon. He is one of the Slayer Masters. You can get there quickly by simply teleporting to Edgeville and walking down. Once you're speaking to him, choose the chat options on screen. You will now have to head back to Myrtle where you started the quest. Choose the second, then the first chat option. You will now have to make your way to Mudskipper Point. Take this opportunity to bank any items in your worn equipment or inventory, as you cannot take any of them with you. Once there, speak to Myrtle, chat options on screen. Speak to Myrtle, chat options on screen. Once underwater, go ahead and read the message in a bottle right in front of you. Head through the door. Now for your first task, go ahead and speak to Brianna, the survival expert. In this order, go ahead and catch two shrimps, cut some strong seaweed, Then chop a dead tree to obtain some soggy branches. Make sure you have the seaweed or you won't be able to catch the soggy branch. Interact with the boulder nearby. Then cook both shrimps on the steam vent to boil them. Go ahead and attempt to cook one of them again to burn it. Speak to the survival expert. Speak to her once again. You can now head through the western gate. Go ahead and speak to an NPC called Leb, the Master Chef. You will now receive a music box. You will have to go ahead and play for the jellyfish and just put him into a groove where he'll let you take some seaweed. Stand a few squares in front of the jellyfish and click on your music box. 
Choose the chat options on screen. If successful, go ahead and take some seaweed and speak to Lev once again. Go ahead and prepare three meals as he instructs. It's a very simple process. Once complete, head through the door and continue along the path. Climb down the ladder and speak to the mining instructor, Desik. Mine some copper and some tin ore. Add both ores to the furnace, then close the door. Operate the pump nearby and light the furnace. Retrieve the bronze bar from the furnace. You can now smith a bronze butter knife. Not so threatening, is it? Speak to the mining instructor once again and continue through the eastern gate. Speak to Vinaka, the combat instructor. Choose the first, then the second chat option. Once instructed, head through the gate and click on the sword. You will now play this very, very odd minigame to be honest. Go ahead and click on the rats and those little swirls. After about a minute, you can now proceed to the next task. Climb the ladder to the next room. Speak to the financial instructor in the building. Choose the first chat option. Attempt to enter the vault and enter the code 139. Speak to him once again, then proceed. Head to the church and speak to Brother Brace. You'll now receive a friends list and he'll want his book returned to him. You'll have to speak to several fishes around the island. They are around the area of the chapel and west of the bank.
Eventually, one of the fishes will tell you where the book is from, as highlighted here on screen. This is my one. I don't know if it will be different for everyone, but this is what I got. Pick up the book and return it to Brother Brace. You can now head through the southern door and speak to the wizard. Choose the first chat option for both prompts. Click on a chicken, then speak to the wizard once again. And now a cutscene will play. All you have to do is channel your spell with Wizard Myrtle's spell. Of course, within the spell, there will be some NPCs appearing and you'll just you'll have to quickly click on them in order to just shoo them away. Slowly, bit by bit, you will be pr making progress. It's really not difficult at all. Eventually you will succeed. And you will now return to the surface. Speak to Wizard Myrtle once again, choose the first chat option. And quest complete.